Hello buddy, welcome back to an episode of Juice or Die, I'm playing Octopath Traveler. In the last episode we continued with more quest shenanigans, and today we're gonna go and just continue doing more quest shenanigans. <laughs> Alright. Um, excuse me, can I ask you something? You see, my brother likes someone. They used to read books together a lot when they were young. But a few years ago she moved far, far away. And it seems like my brother still can't forget her. Sometimes he even whispers her name. <laughs> See, I don't know if he can concentrate on making medicine like that. He even tried writing her a letter about his feelings. But he hasn't sent it yet. So I was wondering if you could give it to her for him. I don't know where she lives, but... Could you do it for me, please? What, you want to know more about her? Well, I know she likes books. Alright. Zeth and Mercedes. You need to steal or buy the uh, letter off of Zeth. And then you need to, of course, give it to Mercedes. Let us go to the library. Um, astute official. Wait, what? Huh. So this is not Mercedes, but it is somebody involved with Mercedes. There was a very much working as security. It turns out where it goes. And a very Wait, are you Mercedes? You are Mercedes. You are Mercedes. That's interesting. I didn't think that that would be a thing. What's that you say? Hmm. Is this a letter for me? I wonder where it could be from. <laughs> I wonder who it's from. My dear Mercedes, how have you been? It's been eight years since you left. Whenever I close my eyes, I imagine what your days so far away must be like. Remember when we used to read, uh, to get, uh, read together in Clearbrook? Seth. We used to exchange our favorite books. The ones she gave me left uh, left such an impression on me. Remember the water blooms? I know you left them so. Being with you always made my heart feel full. So when the time came, I couldn't just say goodbye. I regret it now. Me too. Since then I've become the town apothecary. What are you doing? Where are you? I'm sure you've had some hard times over the past few years. But I hope your days have also been filled with happiness. I miss you and wish you all the best wherever you are. Oh, and I've got so many, so many good books to tell you about. Seth. Thank you. I, I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. To tell you the truth, I miss him a lot too. I tried writing him a letter of my own, but... I hid it away in a book and never sent it. What should I do? Oh, it's nothing. Please forget what I said. Huh. Are you going? Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, bringing this letter back to Zeth. Maybe you can find her in a place... Oh, you're here. <laughs> wow, that was a... Uh... <laughs> 
That was stupid. So what's troubling you today? If it's medicine you need, then... No, then what is it? A letter for me? Let's see what it says. Dear Seth, I hope this letter finds you in good health. It's been 18, 8 years since that day. It's me, Mercedes. Do you still remember me? Mercedes? I'm a librarian at the Royal Academy. I spent every day surrounded by books. It's like a dream come true. I may have moved away from Clearbrook. But I've always wanted to see your, uh, see your dream come true. I'm sure you're an amazing apothecary by now. Whenever I catch a cold, I always think about going to you for a diagnosis. I can't believe eight years have passed already. All this time, there's something that I've been meaning to tell you. I miss you, Zeth. There's so many good books I want to tell you about. If I ever go back to Clearbrook, I'd like to read them together. Mercedes. Mercedes. I've always... Seth? Oh. <laughs> oh! Wow. And I get the memorial axe. Which is. It's better than the battle tested axe. They are. The battle tested axe. Jesus. Wow. Um, yeah. You can have that. 800 damage. <laughs> this is insane. Alfin is becoming absolutely insane, and I love it. So, next up we need to go to Riverfort. Um, let's see. Oh, I have to... Okay. Oh, I see. I might already have this, but I'm not sure about this. But I might need Old Beric though, so... Let's go and get Lobberic in the party instead of Tressa. Right. Now let's go over to Riverford. And get some information. Right. I think it's you. Well, it's either you or the other dude, whatever. I promised you coin, and here it is. Now bring us the best you can uh, read you got. Yes, of course. Well, lying me, look at this. It's me, Reggie. We sent that wrench Werner, Werner back to El where he belongs, remember? Lord Harold and, and the rest of us uh, have been trying to put this place back together. Even the townsfolk are doing what they can to undo the arm Werner did. And his lordship is working hard enough to put the rest of the rest of us to shame. Now it's just a matter of time before this place is uh, back to what it used to be. Looks like another merchant's made his way here. One second, mate. I'll leave the rest to you. So. I actually have the memorial necklace. Nice. <laughs> don't have to do that. Cool. What? I don't believe my eyes. Where did you get that? Thank you so much, mate. Let's get his, uh, let's let's get it to his lordship right away. <sighs> Reggie, what's the matter? Oh. And you've brought a familiar face with you. 
Lord Arald, we wanted to give you something. How did you get this, Reggie? I very clearly recall selling it. Our friend there brought it back for you. I wish you could have told us, sir. Or if you wish you would have told us, sir. Nobody wants to see you selling your precious mementos like that. I understand, but Warder's reign began when my father fell from power. As his son, I have a responsibility to the townspeople to atone for that. Whenever I think of those people who, uh, who lost friends or family, an heirloom appears a mere trinket. That's enough, sir. Reggie? Everyone here knows how hard you worked to put this town back together. There ain't no doubt about it. If atonement's what you're aiming for, you've already gone and gone above and beyond it. This necklace, heirloom, or trinket, or what you have, what have you, belongs in your hands. I hope it helps you as much as it helped the other, <laughs> the lot of us. Nice time you stop staring at the past and focus on the future. You're right, Reggie. I've been so obsessed with making amends that I lost sight of what was truly important. This necklace would be both a precious reminder of my family and of this day. Thank you, both of you. Alright. Now, so we get Harold's sword. Which is. a pretty decent freaking sword. Right. Next. Next up, we have. Um. Okay. Wait a second, though. What is this other quest over here? I guess I didn't get this quest, did I? Or. Is this a quest that I haven't gotten before? <laughs> and haven't finished before? Nani? It could be. Yeah. Is this like a thing for after... Ah, I see. The hidden horde. Over here. Hello. Fair and well. Ladies, they're taking a search for the lost loot of the Harsh Lander. The Landers were highborn folk of this town and they were framed for horde and treasure. Finding their hidden loot will be my, my ticket into the exclusive League of Gentlemen Discovers. Um, hand over the journal. <laughs> I don't know how, but I have this stuff. This notebook belonged to the Lander family. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, here, a secret hiding place. That must be where the treasure lies, so I was right all along. I tell near, near everyone I meet that I'll be the great treasure hunter. But most of them just laugh. Stop the idle dreaming and live on in the real world, they say. But being a treasure hunter is all about dreaming. It's in the nature of the trade. My happy was such a childish fancy that I had done better to forget what I grew uh, what I grew to be a man. When I grew to be a man. <laughs> but I don't see how, how I could. Might as well tell a man to stop loving. Today's the day I leave Foreman behind and can become the treasure hunter I was meant to be. And it's all thanks to you. I'll meet again, friends. Out there in the winding roads. Right. Now we get ourselves some revitalizing jam. Okay. And I need to go over to Nate in Sage Witch. Ba -da -ba -ba. All right. Ba -da -ba -ba. All right. Ah, so close, people. So close to being done. Hello. Nate's been acting strange lately. He just sighs all the time. I wonder what happened. Hmm. He's sick, or at least that's what the grown-ups say. They say he can't be cured with medicine. Oh no, what do we do? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, whatever. I don't know. I want to be friends with Melanie, but how? I wonder what she thinks of me. Oh. Looks like it's getting worse. Yeah. Wish we could find a cure. Do you know what it's called, Daryl? I think they call it love sickness. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Friends again. So, somewhere in Saints Bridge is apparently a bully. And I need to get something from that bully. Um, it might be in the tavern, though. No? Okay. 
bum, bum. I do not expect him to be in the church. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Seems like a bad thing. Right. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, hello, Nate. I have not inquired you, apparently. There you go. Information about him, if you want to. I'm going to uh, also steal some stuff from you. Right. What should I do? I think she liked me then. Um... Ba -da -ma -ma. Let me see, I'm correct about this, right? Yeah, there's just a bully over here somewhere. Oh, I get a bully? No. Since right for telling on me, yep, <laughs> this is the bully. Yep, you son of a bitch. Allow me to steal that from you, buddy. Goodbye. Right. Let's go back. And give him this thing. Hello. Ba -da -ba -bum. Oh. I know this flower. This is Melanie's favorite. Why don't you give it to her then? I'm sure she'd be happy to have it. I'll give it a try. Thanks. Um, Melanie? Yes? I got this for you. Do you want it? I heard you like flowers, and I hope you can like me too. <laughs> Great job, Nate. Yeah. Melanie? I'm sorry. But I can't take this flower from you. You see, I like Emil. <laughs> Emil? <laughs> but me? Oh no, that was supposed to be secret. I... Uh, hey, Nate. I was surprised, too. Oh, what should I say? What's the problem now? You've done... You've both done nothing wrong. So cheer up already. We're all friends here, aren't we? You're right, Daryl. We're friends, and I'm gonna help Nate however I can. Thank you. But right now, I'd like to be alone. Sorry. Poor Nate. I've only ever seen grown-ups with that look on their face. Does that mean he's becoming a grown-up too? <laughs> yes, yes. Let's right, get a badge of friendship. All right. Next up, um, we have to go and talk to. I guess I need to go and guide somebody. I need to go and talk to good old Heathcote at the uh, Ravis Manor. Ugh. I have an itchy head. Well, I have been working in the garden at some point during the day. So I have a tiny feeling that there's probably still something in my hair. I'm also gonna take a shower, by the way. <laughs> Just after all of this. Because I know that I tend to sweat during video making, so... I've received the most peculiar letter. To the Butler of Revis Manor. Your most precious treasure will soon be mine. Night Eye. It appears to be a warning of sorts, and one that cannot be taken lightly. I find it on the face in the hallway. And we can get that far into the manor is a serious threat. Unfortunately, I know just what Night Eye is after. This gem is called the Cat's Eye, if you look closely. You can see how it glimmers, just like a feline's eyes at night. Truth be told, I know a little about uh, I know a little about our would-be thief. He and I aren't so different in age. If it's not too much trouble, could you bring Night Eye here for me? He's probably gloating about somewhere with that obnoxious laugh of his. Right, so he's apparently in Whispermill. So let us go over there. All right. So, there's probably a new old man somewhere. Yep. <laughs> I do not recognize this old man. Let's... Let's go and steal your stuff while I'm at it. Right. And then guide you. Speed enhancement, huh? Interesting. Right. Back over to Boulderfall on the other side of the freaking world. <laughs> Well, kind of.
I kind of can't believe that we're this close to finishing the game already. Hmm. It's interesting. And the biggest challenge right now was definitely that... Well, I think the biggest... Uh, well, I guess the biggest challenge would definitely be the wolf. That one really was a little bit more difficult than the rest. But aside from that, I basically blazed through every single optional boss, I would say. Or at least the, the, the end game stuff. Oh. So it was you it was you after all. Cheers, mate. How long has it been here, Scout? You've gotten to you've gotten so old. You're no spring chicken yourself. And yet I managed to get in, it appears your skills just aren't what they used to be. But it was a struggle to get that far, wasn't it? I doubt you could have gone another step. Or would you rather I attribute to that old age? Hm, at least your sense of humor never gets old. But I'll be the one with the last laugh, Heathcote. You see, I've already won. Ha ha ha! My true aim was to get uh, was to get you to see me. I knew this would be the perfect chance to take the cat's eye from you. You're never you're never without it after all. You fell right into my trap. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't changed a bit. Though he might not look like much now, he was a notorious thief in his heyday. He and I were rivals in our youth, always aiming for the same treasure. And eventually the heart of the same woman. She was like a beautiful maiden in a high tower, seemingly out of reach. So he made a bet whoever could steal her beloved's cat's eye could steal her heart. Whoever lost would have to give up and leave the business forever. I emerged victorious and professed my love to her. But her heart was already set on another. The man, eccentric though he may be, as promised, he washed his hands of the business and ran away with her. I remember hearing a rumor that she passed away. It makes me wonder if he came to return a cat's eye to its proper owner. Proper owner. <laughs> My apologies for rambling. Perhaps I'm re I really am getting old. So we got ourselves Heathcote's dagger. We're gonna take a look, actually. How strong are you? Meh. How good is the Heathcote dagger? Um, it's pretty good. It's actually very elemental based. Intriguing. Okay. Next up on the list of quests to be done. Okay. I need to inquire somebody apparently. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay. Let us go over to Quarry Quest. Uh, I have to go to Ravello. Or is over here. Back here again. I don't want to, but... I must, for Jeffrey's sake. <sighs> yes, yes, I'll be right there. How long has it been, Odette? That's the second time she's done that. You're still here. Do you think I would simply... Did you think I would simply vanish? I may be old, but I'm no ghost yet. Older, but none the wiser. It seems you still haven't learned how to take a joke. I did not come all this way for jokes, Odette. I trust, uh, I trust you understand that. But of course, I just can't believe it's that time again. Time sure flies. Indeed, it's been ten years since Jeffrey's passing. He took great care of you in your youth, when you had no one else. I know that better than anyone. It's thanks to you both that I'm here. That I am here what I am today, or whatever. Not a day goes by that I don't remember that. And despite all that, you'll never visit his grave. I'm certain Geoffrey would like to see your face from time to time. I've told you before, I'm not going to his grave. No matter how many times you come here, my answer will never change. I have research to do. I see. Please go home, Ravello. Stubbornness never ceases to amaze me. Very well, I should take my leave. Why, Odette? Alright. Hello, Odette. Inquire. 
why she doesn't visit Jeffrey. Right. Also, steel. Fire soul stone, sprightly ring, and a pole mace. <laughs> right. Back over to... Noble, noble, no, 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 noble court. <clears throat> uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that I was going the correct direction. How strong are you? Just out of curiosity. Meh. Raffello, I would like to inquire upon you and steal from you. Major staff and elusive shields. Meh. Ooh. There we go. What? You know why a debt will not visit Jeffrey's grave. Pray tell me. Jeffrey himself told me not to go. He was always saying, Faith shall be your shield. But shortly before he died, he told me something else. If I die, do not come to my grave. Do not waste your time on the dead. Simply do what you must while you are alive. At that time, I thought he was joking. And looking back at it, I think he had already realized what would happen to him. So I did what he said, I dedicated myself to my research. And after 10 years, I'm finally enjoying the fruits of my labor. Thanks for listening. Looks like I can finally take a small break from work. I think I'll go find a nice flower to place on his grave. I see she had her reasons. Do not waste your time on the dead. Simply do what you must while you're alive. Certainly seems like something Jeffrey would say. Huh. Perhaps I shall ask him of the truth myself. Mind if I join you? Oh, that. My apologies, Ravello, but better than uh, but better than late than never. Am I right? I finally found some time to step away from my books to see Jeffrey. I'm sure it has kept you very busy. Thank you for coming, Odette. Jeffrey was a very strict man. He scolded me more times than I can count. Remember coming to your rescue often back in those days? If you were still here, I'm sure he would have something to say about this. Why are you here, if you've forsaken your work, Odette? <laughs> he would never have been so harsh. I'm certain Jeffrey is smiling, having seen you once more. You think so? He really was a sweet man. Alright. And that's not finished, so we get Ravello's helm. Let's see. Ravello's helm. That is not that amazing. <laughs> Why are some of these things so bad? Alright. Next up. Let's see. We have to go over to Victor's Hollow. Let's see. Um, okay. So we have to guide Alaic, who is in um, Victor's Hollow, to the end of the Forest of No Return. <laughs> or just to a place where a bandit apparently is. Right. Hello. Hey, you okay? Alaic, please forgive me. I was attacked by bandits and my goods were stolen. I was supposed to deliver them to Susanna too. Never you mind that, I'll get them back. Right. As the quest begins, and we can go and guide him. Panic slash. Sure. Um. Ba ba ba. Na ba na ba na ba na ba ba ba. I think I'll go and just turn you into a sorcerer for the moment, and we'll uh, we'll just go into 
the place. Ba 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 da ba ba da 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 da. Ah, oh, it's so good. Right. I think, in any case, right? Let me go and just read up on this again. So, um, bring a to the force of no return from Victor's Hollow. In the air. Okay, well, <laughs> the dude I'm looking for is apparently somewhere in here. I just have no idea where. Ba, ba, ba. Boom. Oh, there he is. Well, that's easy. Right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, I've got better things to do. Whatever. I have the power. Go. I've got the power. You know, let's just go for Tiger Rage. Tiger Rage. There we go. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Bum, ba -da -ba -da. Right. Got it. I should have stolen from you. Whatever. Hmm. You must be the leader of these thieves. Let me guess, you're with that merchant from earlier. Well, you've got perfect timing, friend. Just looking for someone with something good to steal. I will not lose to you. Hello, you are a bandit leader. <laughs> and I kind of think that you're in over your head. I appreciate it. Really? If you think you can beat us. No, Out of my way. Bama. Bring it on. I'm gonna hit you with an axe. Yep. Oh, Roundhouse kick. I'll do my best. Meh. Oh, sacred light. Of course, light would also work. Out of my way. Uh, I appreciate you're it. You're gonna do some steel of speed, and you're done. <laughs> well, that was easy. Where's the nearest tavern? As well, Barricade to level 68. I'm in your debt. Can I tell you something? Susanna Grodov, that is my mistress's true name. She was a famous scholar and the same woman these ingredients are for. She was targeted by an organization known as the Obsidians. I know because I was their chosen assassin for the job. My entire existence resolved around the deaths of others. I never once felt guilty for taking a life. I was a heartless killer and good, and good at it too. But when I tried to kill Susanna, I was stopped by a man named Zanta. Only death awaits an assassin who fails to eliminate his target. So as my as were my orders, I drank the vial of poison in my pocket. But Susanna rescued me from death. When I could find the words, I asked her. Well, how did you save me? Do you know what she said? Sometimes children do reckless things, so it's up to the all uh, to older uh, to those older than them to save them from themselves. It was then that I realized that she was right. I was nothing but a child. No, I wasn't even human. I was just a failure. I was nothing. I finally understood that then. And Susanna helped me see it. She didn't just save my life. She gave me another chance to be human. I'm not done yet. Uh, I'm not done. I'm not yet done repaying that debt. I want to see her live a long and healthy life. And he helped me do that. You have my thanks. So get a prime evil bow of storms. Um, not bad. One more quest. Uh, where's this quest at? Let's see. The final quest. Uh, the West Swarky Trail. Huh. Cause that's over here, right? Or over here? That's no, north. Uh, west is over here. Okay. Let's go over here. Um, I'm also going to be fighting... <laughs> spoilers! I'm also going to be fighting another um, optional boss creature. So I'm going to go and get my good party out. Actually, I already have my good party. <laughs> right. Um, let me go and change the formation. So Alphen is back in the front. And then Sterion. I'll bury Okay. Uh, let me also go and change... Your skills, maybe? Well, nah. That's fine, though. I want you to be a sorcerer just to break all the enemies, not particularly to do a lot of damage with your magic. <laughs> you do a sizable amount of damage with your magic, but that's just about it. Alright. Let's also go and see if I can maybe guide somebody with me. 
somebody like Santa. Nice. <laughs> Song stays good forever. <laughs> it's just always good. I've not been here in a long ass time. Wow. I'll it's been a wow. Here goes uh, nothing. Ba -ba -ma. This calls for surgery. As I one shot my enemies. That's what I'm talking about. Because what else would I do? Wait. Also, I have new equipment. Um, I should take a look at that. So, you have the strongest stuff, almost. I want you to have that, the, the freaking battle-tested dagger. Yeah. I want you to have the most amount. Well, actually, no. I want you to have something with a lot of speed. Yeah, because that's going to increase your damage of uh, the thing. So let me go and give you the battle-tested one. Uh, Memorial Axe is stronger. Battle-tested bow is best. Okay. You can have Herald Sword, I suppose. Well, no, I think I'll give that to him. Why? Because Asterion doesn't really use these things that much. Um, Trade Twin Spear. It's 380, that's more than the Bishop's thing. Heathcoat's Dagger increases fire damage. Delth. Um, meh. Yeah, no, I think she's fine. Um... And the Master Spear, Herald Sword, Death Cleaver. Which is better than the Battle Tested Axe, wow. Okay. And then when it comes to shields, Battle Tested Shield, which is not amazing. Um, Crystal Helm, Adamantine Hat. Oh wow, the Historian's Hat is pretty dang bad, apparently. Um, let's see. Hypnos Helm, Crystal Helm, of course. Well, it's not bad, it's just not amazing either. Um, wait, we can take a look at the rest. We do have the Crystal Vest, which is the best armor uh, that I have, so I also have a better one of um, these. A Blessed Blazon. Right. Proof of the Eagle. Primeval Bow of the Storms. Let's see. Because this gives you 500 and... Yeah, no, this is better, okay. Mega Max Shields, Monster Trainer stuff. This is actually better in a lot of ways. So let me go and give you that. Chris of Vest, Mighty Belt. Um, mental Belt. Hmm. Or a Mental Arc. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. More speed for you is always nice. Four Shields, that's also good. Um, I can give you an Adamantine Hat, which is a, a pretty big improvement over the Oasis Hat. <laughs> Um, the flame is not particularly better. Dragon skill armor, definitely not. Okay, blazon of protection. I have some better stuff than that. Um, well, I thought so in any case. Uh, let's see. Yes, protective necklace and a protective bracelet. And then you. It's gonna be the same for you. A hypnos crown, spear and good sorcerer robe. The Rope of the Flame would increase your elemental defense by a lot. And your defense by a little bit. Um, sure. You have the SP stuff, and then elemental defense. But I think I'd rather have you have um, one of these ones also. Just to increase your defense even further. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let me go and save my game after getting that entire thing sorted out. Let us continue. So you are a dude who I haven't stolen everything from. There we go. I will the rats. The bloody rats. Surprise your foe. Well, they're dead. Well then. Um. There we go. Star. Our Goodbye. I hope I grow more able. As we of course get no XP. Or just about the XP. This is also going to be the final thing for this episode. In the next episode, we can uh, we can continue to have some fun. Um, 
I suppose I'm going this way. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Oh, Ratkin. Right. <clears throat> this calls for certain. <clears throat> <laughs> Try again. How much JP do you have? Two stars and then five. Okay, that's not that much. Okay. Let's go ahead and save again. Hello. Oh, hi, hello. I didn't expect to see you again. The troop is do all doing fine, though we still do miss Kit. We've been hoping to carry on down this route, but there is a fearsome monster ahead, we heard. A traveling swordsman passed by not so long ago. Once we told him the rumors, he said that he would defeat the monster. But he has not returned. I hope he's alright. Ah, oh, forgive me. I was not equal to the task. Oh, you're right, man. What a frightful wound. Someone, fetch him bandage bandages at once. Please do not trouble yourself on my, over my behalf. Huh? You there. Do you know one another? Indeed. This kind stranger was my greatest friend when I when my heart was broken by the cruel woman in the black. Responsible for bringing me to, uh, to the lovely floor, my true uh, love and other half. It seems that fate continues to guide us, bringing the two of us to meet once more. I feel quite the same. For all that you have helped us in the past, I hope you might ask for your help once more. Do you think you defeat for us the monster that keeps us from traveling the road ahead? I would also be glad to leave the task to one as able as you. The monster is a fearsome one, but I know your strength. Even uh, if even you cannot defeat such a monster, I don't know who would be able to. Who would be able to? <laughs> Hello, Tigre. There we go. Let's get this over. Big tiger boy. Bring it on. The Azure Eyed Tiger. That's a cool name. What am I going to do? Um I guess I'm gonna start looking for weaknesses first. Tail sweep, which does not <laughs> Um <clears throat> Victory shall Make the swords. I'll do my best. She misses with her cane. Saporic Fang. Jesus. I hate that. My turn. Let's go and steal some SP. Bring it ba, 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 ba. The battle is truly joy. Let me go and use uh Herb of Awakening on her. Use this. Use this! Get a load of this. Right. My turn. Uh, Therion, you can't really do much. Let's go on Armor Crossing. I see okay. My Ophelia, let's go and try out Stayora's Prophecy. Stayora, Starwalker, look upon us. Not bad. Here we go. He's dead. He's fucking dead. So he was weak to canes. <laughs> Try again. Bam, ba -da -ba -dum. So you did it. Well done, my good warrior. I expected no less from you. Astounding. You're even stronger than I knew. You took that uh, that very words, uh, the very words from my mouth, my friend. You put my skill with a blade to shame. It seems I still have a far, uh, I still have far to go. I shall put myself to, to training at once. I remain grateful for your aid in this fight. Thank you from me and the troop as well. You've done us a great favor again. Oh yes, and I meant to tell you before, we did have a letter from Ket after you left us. He is headed now to the place where he is to meet the woman who knew of his father. Oh, are you speaking of a common acquaintance? Oh, and what a coincidence! I've also heard rumors on the wind of the Lady of the Black, who's off to meet her perfect man at last. It seems she was headed off to the land, once known as the Kingdom of... Hornburg. 
Is this fate toying with it again? With us again? A coincidence? I suppose stranger things have happened. So we get 10,000 leaf. <laughs> wow. It's like this. Our kid is set up for an abandoned ruin in the northern, uh, in the king, sorry, in the fallen kingdom of Hornburg, according to his letter. I hope he will find what he seeks there. We can now fast travel to the ruins of Hornburg. Hello. Um. And where is that, may I ask? Oh, over here. Interesting. Uh, let me go over to... Um... Well, I guess I'll just go to the table. Sure. <laughs> I want to go and heal up before we go in that general direction. But that's going to be something for next episode, people. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Disa. I was playing Octopath Traveler. And next episode, we're going to go and take a look at what the ruins of Hornburg have to show us. Goodbye.